Hello guys and welcome to a new Let's Play. Today we're going to be playing another campaign in Total War Rome 2. So, I know what you're thinking. Uh, what are you doing Green Force? You haven't even finished your previous campaign. Uh, yeah, I know that, but um, my reasonings here are that uh, I kind of feel like I failed the previous campaign. I know I didn't, it was no game over or anything like that, but I feel like I messed up things quite badly and I put myself in a position which I didn't really know how to get out of. Um, I, you know, the way I conquered, the way I did things, it, it didn't really work out. Um, but I still really want to see if I can do a campaign on the very hard difficulty. So that's why I'm going to be starting a new campaign and I'm going to be trying to uh, use all the things that I have learned in the previous campaign and see if I can do a better job this time around. Another thing is that I'm going to be playing as a faction that I feel like I can um, be a little bit more comfortable with. I'm going to be playing as the Seleucid Empire, which has the advantage that they start out as quite a powerful empire already um, from the initial, their initial starting point here. Um, uh, so that's one of the things that I'm going to be trying to use uh, using to be able to play this campaign on very hard difficulty and actually kind of the main thing main reason why I want to play as the Seleucids instead of for example the Armenians is that the Seleucids are a Hellenic factions and I'm just a lot more comfortable playing with Hellenic factions I'm not saying I'm particularly good with them I just like them I like pike armies I like that kind of stuff so I really wanted to um, play a uh, campaign with a Hellenic faction and uh, yeah the Seleucids are actually one of the few factions that I haven't played either on a let's play or on my own so uh, this should be pretty interesting at least for me hopefully quite interesting for you guys as well also I'm using a new recording software right now from what I've been usually using uh, so hopefully there won't be as much lag and stuttering and bullshit in this campaign not gonna guarantee anything though but uh, that was at least what I was hoping for when I changed up my recording software. So, let's take a look. Very hard. We are a successor kingdom, meaning we get extra morale fighting other Hellenic factions. That's kind of nice. And uh, less resistance to foreign occupation. That's a big one. That's amazing. And this one is also really nice. Multiculturalism, really sweet. So basically this allows us to conquer shit a lot faster. Well, maybe not a lot faster, but, you know. We also have uh, this thing, Overlords of the East, because uh, as the Seleucids, uh, you start out with pretty much like you dominate the entire Persian region, kind of. But it's all satrapies, and since they're all Eastern, and you have a penalty towards them, they have a tendency to declare their independence, which is kind of what makes this challenging. Because uh, you won't have too many friends as the Seleucids, and uh, you have to sort of rely on your own strength, and I kind of like that. Um, because I feel like that's one of the main things I did wrong in my Armenia campaign, was that I relied far too much on the Seleucids to do the fighting for me. And I was never really in a position where I could actually do anything myself. Um, and also, the fact that these guys are Hellenic means that I'm probably going to be quite a lot more comfortable fighting battles myself. Meaning that there will hopefully be a lot, hopefully be a lot less auto resolving in this campaign, which is another real, you know, main thing that wanted me to start a new campaign. Because I got a lot of complaints of people uh, complaining about me constantly auto resolving, and I understand that, and and you know, I take blame for that because, uh, but there, you know, the reason was that let's face it, the auto resolve was better than I was. But hopefully, as the Seleucids, we can try and change that. So, uh, yeah, and I'm not going to bother looking at the victory conditions, that's not important until much later in the game. And campaign settings, this all looks good, I guess. Uh, yeah, whatever. I'm sure we can change those things once we're in the game, once we're in the game as well. So, very hard. No, Alright, let's get into the game. Alrighty, right. Alright. You are the Seleucid Empire. But your grip on your eastern satrapies is weakening. Bactria is already independent, and Pathava and others may also attempt to break away. Meanwhile, to the south, the Ptolemies of Egypt are scheming against you. Their desire to control your Syrian lands may yet bring about war. Although stability to the north and west may be assured by the Sardes, who remain loyal, the warlike Galatians and the Hellenistic states of Asia Minor threaten your borders. The future of Alexander's legacy is in your hands. The Seleucid Empire must not fall. 
Alright, yeah, you can still see the awkward stuttering effect when I move around on the campaign map. I don't know what's causing that, because it's not lag. I mean, I'm getting a good frame rate here. It's just weird. I don't know. Tell me in the comments if you know the reasoning behind that kind of stuff, because I have no clue. Um, so yeah, I guess we have two goals in this campaign. Uh, the primary one being to recreate the glorious empire of Alexander, and the second one being, uh, you know, just having something to do while I wait for the expansions for EU4 and Crusader Kings 2. Uh, <laughs> okay, so let's get into this. So uh, if we look on the diplomatic, that's not the... here we go. Yeah, this is basically the empire as it stands right now. We have a bunch of these satrapies all over throughout Persia. Uh, Media is not actually a satrapy. Huh. Well, okay, Media is a satrapy, but not Media Atro... Atropatine. Something like that. Yeah, they're not a satrapy. Um, but we do have these guys, Sardis. So, yeah. Uh, we are at war with the Quidri. So I guess our first goal is going to be trying to knock them out um, and I think my first sort of semi long-term goal here is going to be to try and knock out Egypt uh, the reason behind that would be that um, I want to try and quickly as possible secure good flanks for my empire so that I can focus on one front I don't like fighting multiple front wars uh, and Egypt would be a great place to start to achieve that because if I can conquer my way down, th you know, if I can take the Egyptus region and maybe even the Ethiopia region, I might just make satrapies down here. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. And maybe also the Libya region and make some satrapies over here. Basically, I'm going to try and secure this area <clears throat> to try and make sure no one attacks me from this direction. Same goes for Arabia. I basically want to secure the southern flank of my empire so that I then can s try and focus on keeping, you know, the Persian part and the Asia Minor part of the empire together. Um, so I guess the first step towards that will be to subdue the Quidri. Um, so I let's take a look and find my armies. We have Champions of Olympus. <clears throat> That's an awful name. I will of course follow the shitty tradition of calling them um, the Green Force because I have no no f what is it called? Creativity when it comes to making up these names? So yeah, all our armies are on the northern flank right now. I don't know if that's a sign from the gods that I should probably focus up there, but... I'm just gonna say fuck it and move south, regardless of what the game is hinting at me. So I think I'm just gonna force march my way down to Palmyra. What kind of a recruitment? Yeah, we do have a muster field there. That's actually really limited. We only have the Syria... Cilicia... Yeah, we don't have many regions. So our opportunities for making troops are kind of limited. But yeah, let's start by getting down to Palmyra. Ah, oh, shit, I probably shouldn't have forced march because that makes it so that I can't recruit troops. Oh well, I'll do that next turn. Now I will... Uh, I don't really know what to do with this army, to be honest. I'm kind of feeling like just keeping it up here in the north, purely as a garrison army to try and... Yeah, because I am pretty. I can pretty much guarantee that some sort of fighting is going to happen up here in the north, and uh, having some sort of a defense in the area wouldn't hurt at all. So let's just let that army stay. I don't know if that's. I don't know if that's like a massive mistake on my part, but if it is, then oh well. What are you gonna do? Uh, so we have like no food. So I guess one of our first priorities will be to try and upgrade our farms. The public order also could have. It could be a lot better. So I don't really see any real reasons to upgrade the size of any of these cities. Because I don't really feel like I have the money to make use of it. If anything, I might just upgrade this place and get myself a muster field. Although I probably should have built a temple or something like that to try and fix the public order issues here. Yeah, that probably would have been plenty smarter. The public order in Syria is actually totally okay, so I'm going to try and get the tax thingy, tax harvesting. No, actually, let's get, um, what is it called? Conscription? Can't we have that? Mercenary negotiations. No, here it is. Noble philanthropy. 15 minus. So I guess it's not called conscription here. That's sad. 
Yeah, there's no such thing. Maybe that's only for other factions. I don't know. I don't know what, you know, makes this... What decides what you can do and not. But, yeah, we'll do this. Um, just so... Actually, maybe it's going to be smart if I postpone my upgrading a little bit until that comes into effect. Because that will save me some cash. Yeah, let's just do that. Let's save our money and uh, try and maybe use the money to try and secure our borders a little bit. See, the thing is, I'm a little bit afraid of being too friendly with Cappadocia because I want to make friends with Pontus because I'm guessing they are going to be the, one of the main powers up here. So if I can stay friendly with them, it's going to drastically increase my chances of survival. And survival is good. Very good. One thing that I would really want is I want to see... Um, I would love to keep Media loyal, at least for now. Uh, these other satrapies can fall, whatever, it's okay. Uh, as long as Media serves as a little bit of a buffer state towards all these other Persians and Parthavians and scumbags that made my Armenia campaign such a pain in the butt. So, well, there's not much trade we can do here. Roads, though, we can try and get some friend for relations going. Friendship that has been and friendship to come. Um, Greetings. Now. They... Uh, seek prosperity I really lands. would like some non-aggression as well. Will you agree I'm to willing to pay a little bit. There we go. Really My don't want to fight roads. Sardis, are we trading with you? No, we're not. That should be the easy to pull of off, though. Upon you. What then Might actually be able to us. make them pay me for it. Yep, there we go. Good. We are a no reason not to gain those kinds of monies. Even as it hurts. Yeah, yeah, your pride can eat shit. I don't care. Cyprus, a vassal of the Great Egyptian Empire. Oh man, if there's one faction I would love to get trade with, it would be Armenia. You as your uh, we actually now, already start out with the non-aggression pack. That's really good. So that we may fall to haggling. But I don't think that's going to be enough to secure the border. I would love some trade as well. I mean, it's good for the money, but it's primarily I wanted to make sure they don't attack me. Come on, man. How much do you have to pay? Do not want trade with you, and my master takes note of their undoubted expertise. All right, so that's a waste of money. Hopefully, it's not going to be a waste, though. I don't know. Am I making any money right now? I should probably have checked that before I spent all my cash. Yeah, I'm making decent cash, so... It's all right. I can spend that money on troop recruitment next turn. So I'm basically doing my best here to try and secure the border. So now this Armenia thing should be okay. They hate me for uh, cultural aversion is the primary one here. Mm. So let's just wait and hope that... Ah, fuck. They're enemies of Pontus. That might not have been the smartest thing then. I don't know. I don't know if that was a bad mistake. Very good chance that it might have been. But yeah, let's see if we can just swoop in and acquire some good trade with the Cyprocs. Fucking hell, come on, man. I have no money left. God damn it. Well, we'll try and talk to them about trade next turn. For now, we're just going to end it. Uh, what are you talking about? I just enacted a thing. You high? Can I have more than one? How much Imperium do I have? Wow, I actually have quite the Imperium already. Interesting. Interesting, interesting. Yeah. Okay then. Uh, but that doesn't make any sense. What are you talking about? Well, maybe I watched it wrong. Let's get this one. I need level 2 barracks thingies because this right here is not okay. Uh, I need better shit than this. Can't just rely on levy pikes. I need proper pikes. And cavalry as well. That's a big one. Um, so can I end my turn now? You may still issue an edict in one of your... Ah, okay, yeah. Edessa counts as a, an entirely controlled province, doesn't it? Because it's... it's uh, the rest of it is controlled by a satrapy. Cool, 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 cool. This is the same... No, this is all Cyprus, so that doesn't count. Now then. <clears throat> now I can end my turn. The dust of the desert, uh, well, that was fast. By the that was really fast. Ooh, okay. And all my allies said, fuck you. Well, shit. Great start, great start. That's very hard difficulty for you. And this means... Uh, the storm has raged long enough. 
Yeah, the storm has raced. But why did I end up at war with these guys? That doesn't make any sense, I don't know. Yeah, well, peace out here. There's no reason to fight all these eastern people. Uh, yes, yes, yes. It's high. Could you could you give me a non-aggression? Nah. But I'm totally feeling peace so that I can go focus on the people who are the real enemies at this point. Satrapies declare independence. Well, that was fast. Not only is it independence, it's... Yeah, 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 yeah. Um... That changes things quickly. Okay, so now we're at war with all our f previous satrapies. Not all of them, but it's... Yeah, a lot of them. And they're... Okay, but the good thing, though, is that Media stayed loyal. Meaning they're going to function as a or as a buffer for some time, at least. But I'm going to go in here and see if I can I piece here. out as many of them as possible. Because there's absolutely no reason for, for me to no do this. Attitude. Who are we fighting for Theva? Peace out. Okay, he does not want it. Sagartia, though. Are you feeling peace today? Feeling peaceful? Be welcome, yeah. I suppose. Actually, now, I should try and make them pay me for this. To be interesting. You ask for peace. Ask until the new moon comes. Yeah, okay, good. We want to get as much money out of this as possible. Because this should decrease our income quite a bit. Well, not that much, actually. I guess we didn't gain that much cash from these centerpieces of ours. Before you say we anything, might use this Aria thing to become friends with Bactria. Which it would not be bad at all. Nah, they're not feeling it. But it's not important right now anyways. We don't need it. What I need is... Okay, peace out them. So only Partheva is still being a bitch here. I don't like that. I don't like bitches being in my eastern territories. I want to see if I can pay my way out of this. Because I don't want this war. There we go. Good. By the flame. Right, so our Eastern Satrapies have fallen away. Uh, here's the thing though, is Media still fighting? Uh, they are not. Good, okay, so the Eastern area is not secured, but it is... It is, you know, we're gonna live, we're gonna live. Um, But Cyprus, that's a nasty one, that is very bad. Good, peace, peace, peace be upon us, peace be upon us. Like, I wish those guys just asked me, like, hey man, do you wanna, wanna have, you know, independence? And I would have been like, yeah, sure, have independence, it's, it's alright, you know, no big deal. But no, they had to be all drama about it. Right, time for some uh, light cav. Some pikes. Really, we can only make three units? Yeah, I guess that, the, we, since we don't have conscription, that's why. So we'll start building up our army to defend ourselves against these scumbag, scumbags that is, that is Egypt. And we'll, as quickly as possible, try and push down. Actually, it might be smarter to swoop over to Salamis. Don't know what kind of an army they got going here. Uh, it's clearly plenty more than this navy can handle, though. I can say that much. But let's start off by force marching our way over to... Ah, oh, shit, we can't get there? Well, I can't see any Cyprot armies posing any threats. Actually, let's go to Antioch. Let's chill here. Can I recruit troops while on the ocean? It looks like I can. But sad thing though, I can't make any actual melee troops. Can I recruit? Yeah, I can recruit mercenary ships. The question is, could I use... Okay, so here's a Cyprot navy. That I cannot find right now. So I think I'll just... We do have this admiral. Because the thing I'm thinking about here is I wonder if I could just spam mercenaries and <clears throat> pretty much like immediately swoop in and knock out Salamis. If I knew that war would come this fast, I would have recruited some boats on the first turn. Because there was nothing stopping me from doing that. Well, there was I, when I got those treaties with Armenia. Yeah, I'm really tempted to spam like all these things. I don't know how much it's going to cost me. 
too much, it seems. I don't know what's costing so much here. Yeah. I don't know why this guy's so freaking expensive. Ah, it's because it's a huge boat. Okay. But I don't need boats. I need infantry to take this place. What kind of an army do they got here in Salamis? True javelin thingies and mob slingers and pikemen. Oh my god, this is so tempting. So fucking tempting. I think I'm just gonna go for it, man. I think I'm just gonna go for it. Yep, let's get rid of all our money and try and get in here. <coughs> we're gonna have to fight this uh, manually because there's no way on earth we're gonna be able to pull this off without doing that. Oh man, these slingers are gonna be nasty. Very nasty. Alright, let's fight this on the battlefield, see if we can do this. Alright, so it looks like they're all just going to land. That is actually a little bit worrying. I was hoping I could knock out some of these guys very early. But it seems like that's not going to be the case. So I guess I'll just try and make my way over here to this coast here and then land. And I'll try and assault these guys just via land. I don't see any other real opportunities here. Because I don't want to charge right into the city. That would be suicide. Kind of suicide anyways. Hopefully I'm going to be staying out of range of these slingers. So let's try and move a little bit like that. Alright. And we'll just land over here. I mean, I know I can't really see what is going on over here. Let's just land like this. Hope that things work out. It's actually one of the first times I've actually done a purely uh, sea assault, I guess you could call it. Alright. Let's get the army lined up. This is a sadly small army. It's because it's all naval, that's the reason. Javelin. Okay, so those guys weren't actually slingers. Where are the slingers then? They must be hiding inside the town. That is okay. So we got this uh, unit of Royal Peltas, which is going to give you the key here. Because as long as we can knock out their skirmishers and... I just don't know if we can do that though, because all these units are so small. That we're going to be at a major disadvantage. Let's try and make these guys... Nope, I didn't mean to do that. Fuck now. I just wanted you to not run. There's no reason to get exhausted. So, uh, I think they're all blobbing up over here. Can't really tell if that's a good thing from here or not. Um, let's get our archers in first. And the Peltast come in a little back there and then the royal lasts. Why do these guys automatically turn into a hard group? No, they're not a hard group. Well, there you go. Okay, so these are just standard old pikemen, not a big deal. So the real fear of mine right now are the um, the enemy slingers. If there's anything that's gonna kill me in this battle, it's the enemy slingers. So I would, f I would have felt a lot more comfortable if I had some cav, but I have no such thing. So that's a disadvantage. Let's all just blob here. And begin shooting down these pikes. Okay, so now we can see their. Uh, no, we cannot. Seriously, where on earth are there? Fucking slingers. Don't they have slingers? No, we're getting shot, aren't we? But from where? And we're not getting many kills. That's awkward. Yeah, we're getting murdered. Where are we getting murdered from? Okay, panic time, panic time. Mob, javelins, mob. 
Fucking hell, I can't see them! Where the hell are they? Oh, there they are! Fucking hell. Okay. We need to stop them from doing what they're doing. And let's see if we can get a little bit, like, more... Our general is under attack. I want to get more into cover so that I can't get shot as easily. Fucking run! What are you doing, you drunk fuck? Okay, so finally these guys are taking some losses, but we're taking far too many losses. But I would prefer them actually if they slingers shot these guys, because they have heavy armor. So if there's anyone who's going to survive that kind of thing... Seriously, why do you cons constantly just stop? Okay, okay, never mind. I'm raging for no reason. It's because we can't see them. Still getting shot though. I still can't really see from where. But, oh well. For some reason these guys decided to run towards me. That was kind of dumb of them. But I have no bad feel. Okay, so now we can see their slingers. So let's try and get our dudes there. And I'll just bring my pelt to stop. Okay, cancel that and try and shoot them a little bit. Okay, so they've changed their priorities. Fucking hell, this is not good. Die! We're killing them off. We're taking losses ourselves, though. That's nasty. We await your command. Ready yourselves. Losses that I don't feel like we can really afford. Okay, let's try and chase them like out of range of these other slingers, so they won't get shot. Yeah, these pikemen are also taking some heavier fire now. Good. Fucking hell! I wish I had some freaking archers, or I mean, um. Cavalry. Because we are in a really bad position here. Um. Yeah, so far not so good. Because I can't really turn around here. One of our units has used all its ammunition. I should have tried and chase these guys down with a Peltas unit instead of a Royal Peltas. Because if I turn around now, I'm going to get shot in the back, but I have no choice. I have to turn around. Because there's no way I'm going to catch these guys. I should just blob into this area. If I can blob there, then they can't really run. Oh my god, this is going to be a brutal retreat. Let's try and sh Everyone just go focus on the enemy slingers, because they're the real danger here. The pikes can't really do anything. I can easily outmaneuver them. Okay, let's try and run like a little bit behind these buildings to try and get out of the range of these slingers. So, mob over there. They can be easily mopped up. Hello. These guys just blob it up in a really nice way. It's going to make killing them a lot easier. Come on out. Everyone shoot these guys. Please? What are you doing? You drunk fucks. Alright, we're getting into this mob. They should die rather easily. But I want to quickly knock them out though, so I can get to these slingers. Okay, they've spread out again now. Come on mob, die! Why do you have, why do you have such good morale? What does this what does this do? I think we're just gonna have to use that. I need to push through. Taking massive losses. Can I just pull through here? Don't know how much of a how much work these guys can do anyways. 
I really just need to make sure all these guys are in melee. Because, I mean, they're all surrounding me now, but I don't know how much of a damage they can actually do. Try and just bombard these guys with some flaming shots. No, fucking hell. So hopefully this is all working out. Taking losses though. Come on, die! Why are these pikemen so darn powerful? I thought pikemen were supposed to be really, really weak. So missiles. No one be skirmishing. Okay, so we are winning here slowly. So I think we might be able to do this. Fuck it, what am I doing? The battle is turning in our favor. Okay, good. My favor is the only kind of favor I like right now. Okay, now, are we won here? Uh, yes, we have. Good, good, good. Get into these slingers before they kill all my things. Let's try and lure these guys out of the city. Because there's the thing, if they turn around now... Actually, let's try and just stay here for a little bit longer, try and capture the city center. I think we got this. We've got the city center now. And the enemy slings are being stupid and they're fighting my my skirmishers instead of doing what is important, killing off my Peltasts. Okay, now we have... Oh, they have? Really? Oh, that's unfortunate. What? Okay, suicide squad! Let's just try and get these guys into the enemy slingers. To stop them from firing. I mean, these are mercenaries. I'm going to be disbanding them anyway, so they serve no real purpose. One of our units has used all its ammunition. Okay, so the enemies, enemy uh, pikemen are dead. So yeah, we actually totally did this. Holy shit. That's amazing. Yeah, look at that. Victory. Glory us. That was a sweet battle. All right. See you on the campaign map. Okay, sweet. So that's Cyprus under our control. Uh, meaning that we are beating down on the satrapy of the uh, good old scumbags of Egypt. Now, I'm a little bit afraid of a counterattack from this navy, so what I'm going to be doing here is I'm not going to be raising a new army because I'm poor and I have no money. Actually, I've, j I have just the right amount of cash and... Um, yeah, how come... Like, I guess I don't understand this. Why is this guy free? Uh, I guess it costs money to hire people of the Seleucid dynasty. So let's just not do that. Let's save our cash. And instead make sure we... S wow, for some reason elephants are free. All these other guys though cost money. So I don't know what I would want here. Because uh, this is primarily a, a force that I would use to defend from these guys over here. If they find the ability to re um you know to attack me again i think maybe a unit of royal pelt has i don't know i know i don't want elephants because they're just going to kill off because i'm guessing this is a primary uh primarily uh skirmisher navy so i need something to counter that actually a cav unit wouldn't hurt at all let's get a good cav unit hellenic cataphract sounds nice maybe even some chariots because they can also do great work against infantry. Sure, let's get a chariot unit over here. Purely temporary though. It's purely for the defense. Alright, I think this would be a good place to end this episode. So thank you so much for watching this episode. Hope you enjoyed it. And uh, until next time, bye.